Hello everyone, this is Dhyay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using the other way, part 3. So let's get going. Solve d squared plus a squared into y equal to cos ax. Here, we are given a differential equation of order 2. Using variation of parameters method, we are going to solve the given differential equation. Given differential equation. d square plus a square into y equal to cos x. Consider it as equation 1. Right? Now, we'll find the solution of this equation using y equal to yc plus yp. Here, yc is nothing but complementary function and yp is particular integral. Okay, firstly, we'll find yc using the auxiliary equation. And later, using the solution, I mean yc, we'll find yp. Okay? And here, this equation is in operator form, say f of d into y equal to some function of x, say r of x, where f of d equal to d square plus a square and r of x equals to cos x, right? And the solution of this way, I mean the general solution of this way is given by y equal to y plus y. So let's begin with the auxiliary equation now. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to we have f of d equal to d square plus a square right let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus a square then auxiliary equation becomes m square plus a square equals to 0 here we need to find roots to this equation we'll get m square equals to minus a square from this we'll get m equal to plus or minus square root of minus a square which is equal to plus or minus i a right or we have m equal to plus or minus square root of minus a square and we can write square root of minus a square as minus 1 into a square which is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1 into square root of a square since we know that square root of minus 1 is i and we know that square root of a can be written as a power 1 by 2. So, we'll write square root of a square as a square whole power 1 by 2. If you consider a square as one variable or some constant, okay, then we'll get the term, I mean that constant or that variable power 1 by 2. This square root can be written as power 1 by 2. This equals to a. If we know that a power m whole power n equal to a power m into n. So, we can write 2 a square whole power 1 by 2 as for m equal to 2 and n equal to 1 by 2. We can write it as 2 by 2. Okay, we will get 2 by 2 here which is equal to a. You can just directly write like this. It's not necessary to write these steps. In order to make you understand. I'm writing like this. Here the roots are therefore m equal to plus or minus i a or a i. The roots are complex conjugate. We know that when m equal to a plus or minus i b the pair of complex conjugate roots then the complementary function looks like e power ax into some constant into cos bx plus another constant into sine bx right in case of a0 we'll get e power 0 into x which is equals to e power 0 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx since e power 0 equal to 1 so we'll get 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx which is equal to c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. So, let's write a complementary function to our problem. Complementary function
by c equals to for b equal to a will have c1 cos x plus c2 sin x right let y p equal to now replace the constants or parameters with functions of x a and b will get y p equal to a cos a x plus b sin a x okay where a and b are functions of x right now if we compare yc with c1 u plus c2 v or yp with a u plus b v will have u equal to cos ax and v equal to sin ax okay And we'll find a b using formula. We'll find a using integral minus v into r of x by u v one minus v u one into d x, and b by u into r of x by u v one minus v one into d x. So here, if we notice, we are having u v one minus v u one in both the equation. I mean, in both the formula. So we'll find. U V one and minus V one and later we'll go for A and B and then we'll find Y P. Finally, we'll write the general solution using Y equal to Y C plus Y P. Okay, so let's begin with U V one minus V one. V one is nothing but derivative of V with respect to X. And u1 is nothing but derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, this is equals to u cos a x into derivative of v with respect to x minus v sin a x into derivative of u with respect to x. This is equals to cos a x into Derivative of sine a x with respect to x is a cos a x minus sine a x into derivative of cos a x with respect to x is minus a sine a x. This equals to a into cos a x into cos a x is cos square a x minus into minus plus a into sine a x into sine a x is sine square a x. Or we can write it as A sine square a x plus a cos square a x. Now take a common from these two terms. We'll get a times sine square a x plus cos square a x, which is equal to a into one equal to a. Since sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one, so we'll replace sine square a x plus cos square a x by one here. Therefore. U V one minus V U one equal to A. We'll find A using integral minus V into R of x by U V. I mean U V one minus V U one into d x. Right? This equals to integral minus V as sine a x into R cos a x. By a into dx is equals to minus one by a into integral sine a x into cos a x dx. Since we know that sine two theta equal to two sine theta into cos theta, then if you bring this to two LHS, we'll get one by two into sine two theta equal to sine theta into cos theta. Right? Then for Sine theta into cos theta equal to minus one by two. Sorry, one by two into sine two theta. Then for theta equal to a x, we'll get 
sin ax into its cos, right? Cos ax equal to 1 by 2 into sin 2ax, right? So let's replace sin ax cos ax with 1 by 2 sin 2ax. This becomes minus 1 by 2 into integral 1 by 2 sin 2ax dx which is equal to minus 1 by 2 into a2a or just write 1 by 2 outside the integral since integral sin a theta d theta equal to minus 1 by a cos a theta so this becomes minus 1 by 2a into for theta equal to I mean you can take b instead of a so that you won't get confusion so for b equal to 2a and theta equal to x we'll get minus 1 by 2a into cos 2ax here we don't write any integral constant because we'll get arbitrary constants in yc okay in the general solution arbitrary constants appear so it's not necessary to write any constant here we'll just leave it like this is equals to minus to minus plus 1 by 2 to the 4 a into a a square into cos 2ax therefore a equal to 1 by 4a square cos 2ax. We'll find b using integral u into r of x by uv1 minus vu1 into dx. This is equal to integral u is cos ax into r of x is cos ax by uv1 minus v1 is a into dx this is equal to 1 by a into integral cos ax into cos ax is cos square ax dx since we know that cos 2 theta equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 or we can write it as 2 cos square theta minus 1 equals to cos 2 theta now take this minus 1 to RHS and we'll get 2 cos square theta equals to 1 plus cos 2 theta. Now take this 2 to RHS then we will get cos square theta equal to 1 by 2 into 1 plus cos 2 theta. Right? Now for theta equal to ax we will have cos square ax equals to 1 by 2 into 1 plus cos 2ax. Right? So let's replace cos square ax with 1 by 2 into 1 plus cos 2ax into dx. This is equal to 1 by a into 1 by 2 into integral 1 into dx is integral dx plus integral cos 2ax dx. Okay. Or you can include one more step here. Just take this 1 by 2 outside the integral. Okay. So this equals to 1 by 2 way into integral since integral d theta equal to theta and integral cos b theta d theta equal to 1 by b sin b theta. So, we will get integral dx x plus integral cos 2x dx for a b equal to 2a and theta equal to x. You will have 1 by 2a into sin 2x. 1 by 2a into sin 2x. Okay. This is equal to x by 2a plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 to the 4 a into a square into sine 2 a x which is our required b. 
therefore b equal to x by 2a plus 1 by 4a square into sine 2ax so we got a and b let's write the gen uh, yp let's write yp now yp is given by a cos ax plus b sin ax which is equals to a 1 by 4a square cos 2x into cos x plus b x by 2a plus 1 by 4a square into sin 2x into sin ax this equals to 1 by 4a square into cos 2ax into cos ax plus x by 2a sin ax plus 1 by 4a square sin 2ax into sin ax. Now take 1 by 4a square common from these two terms. We will get 1 by 4a square of cos 2ax cos ax plus sin 2ax sin ax plus x by 2a sin ax since we know that cos a cos b plus sin a sin b equal to cos a minus b then for a equal to 2ax and b equal to ax will have cos 2ax cos ax plus sin 2ax or cos a cos b plus sin a sin b equal to cos a minus b plus x by 2a sin ax which is equals to 1 by 4a square cos 2ax minus ax is ax plus x by 2a sin ax okay this is the required yp therefore yp equal to 1 by 4a square cos ax plus x by 2a sin x we got yp and yc let's now write the general solution therefore the general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp then y equal to yc is c1 cos ax plus c2 sin ax plus yp 1 by 4 a square cos ax plus x by 2 a sin ax this completes the problem So this is all for now. I hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.